Hey, thanks for watching another pad video. Uh, today we're doing a gasoline direct injection video. So we're gonna show you a couple aspects. We're gonna explain the process, the equipment that's necessary that we use, and we're also gonna explain and show you why we suggest such maintenance in the service of the direct injection. Okay, so the product we use is a BG product. Uh, it's a three part, comes in one kit. So we got our 44K Platinum. This will be dumped just right into the fuel tank, right? So we're just gonna open it up with a funnel, pour it right in the gasoline fuel tank. These are the same can. We have our air intake and valve combustion chamber cleaner. So this product, both cans, one at a time, will be poured into this gravity fed service tool. So BG Platinum service tool, pour one can in here, it's gravity fed, nothing, nothing fancy about it. We'll connect the other end of this hose to a vacuum line right here that we just installed. We removed the uh, factory vacuum line. We installed her on with a fitting. It'll connect just like that. The fluid, the cleaner that's in here. As the engine's running, we'll gravity feed into the intake manifold, be distributed to each intake valve as the engine's running and clean over time. So this is a, it's kind of a time consuming process, probably a, a solid hour worth of uh, cleaning will take place here. So in our next clip, what we're gonna show you is actual bore scope video from inside the cylinder and we'll show you the the carbon buildup on the back of the valves for this this car um, just to give you an idea this is a 2015 buick enclave with a 3.6 liter v6 car only has 49,000 miles very low mileage car but i think it'll surprise you how much carbon buildup is already on the back of those valves and why we're pushing for a maintenance, uh, uh, GDI maintenance every 15 to 30,000 miles. So watch the next clip and we'll show you. All right, so now we got our bore scope video set up and we wanna show you this. I, I removed one of the spark plugs um, so we can put our camera down inside the engine in the cylinders and we can show you the backside of these intake valves that, that are carboned up. And it happens on every gasoline direct injection engine. It's a maintenance, it's a byproduct of the technology but maintenance is all required. So we'll pan here to the bore scope. So now you can see, this is the intake valve right here, that bright ridge right there. You can see the face of it. So your pistons on this side, intake valves above it. So the, the image is kind of rotated upside down because of the way the camera is. But here's the back side of the intake valve. Look at the nasty gunk, the carbon buildup, right? So there's two intake valves on this one. We'll see them as a pair. We'll scan over, pan over to the other one. See all the carbon buildup on that one? Nasty black carbon. This one right here, it's got a huge hunk right here. Nasty, gooey, sooty carbon. So our goal is to remove that with this cleaner. We're gonna make it a much, much more clean intake valve. All right, so now you got to see for yourself the before, and that's what we wanna do. We want our clients to trust us. We want our clients to know what they're spending their money on and what they're paying for. So once this service is complete, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna remove a spark plug. We're gonna show you the back of the intake valve and see what the after effects are. All right, so I, I think I, earlier I failed to explain the importance of this. So right here, we're cleaning the intake system and combustion chamber. Uh, this purpose of the 44K fuel system cleaner that I mentioned, I poured into the fuel tank. This is what's running through the fuel lines and will clean the fuel injectors themselves. Intake, combustion chamber, fuel injectors. That's the cleaning. So we got our chemical in here. Um, it's probably hard to see with a camera, but this container or canister is transparent. Uh, you can see the liquid's down to this level now, feeding into this tube, being sucked in by the engine. So about every 45 seconds, I will rev the engine three times to continue to pull this fluid.
So we're going to do that process. Uh, we're just going to keep repeating that process until all this fluid uh, is consumed. And then we'll refill it with this can, same material or same chemical. And we'll uh, run through this can, clear the fault codes if there are any, drive it, and it should be good to go. And we'll also do another bore scope video. All right, so now we got an update on the GDI service. This is at Buick Enclave. Um, the GDI service has been completed. It was all timed together, probably around that hour and a half, maybe two hour mark from start to finish. Uh, so I have went through both cans of cleaner, uh, the 44K in the tank, did a pretty good test drive. So let's, let's look at the bore scope now. I've got that same spark plug out. We're looking down the same bore. <clears throat> got the intake valves open so we still have some build up there's still some build up on the valve stem here but the top side or surf ceiling surface of that intake valve looks tremendously better it's super clean right here across the front edge of that camera back side of the valve here that's where the problem persists super clean there so we do still have some build up on the st valve stem well, let's scroll over to another intake valve that's open. There again, we still have some buildup. You can see where it's breaking away right here, the carbon buildup. You can see where it's broken away from the valve stem here. That'll continue to break away with some more drive time. But look at the top side of this or the back side of this uh, intake valve. Super clean, way cleaner than it was. Uh, but th there again, this vehicle has 49,000 miles. This is the first GDI service that's ever been performed. Um, and this is exactly a prime reason why we're gonna recommend every 15 to 30,000 mile service to prevent it from getting to this point. So I think one more cleaning on this vehicle will be 100%, maybe even just something as simple as a little more road time, maybe another 500 miles or so. Um, but this is why we recommend GDI induction services every 15 to 30,000 miles to keep that preventative maintenance as easy uh, and as efficient as possible. So I hope this makes sense to you, helps out a little bit understand when we kind of push a GDI service and why we um, are such believers in it. But anyway, thanks for watching the pad videos. We'll talk to you next time.